<laughs> and for, first, I want to say because thank you so much for joining us here at you Block bet. Show North America. Thank you for having Las Vegas. Me. Thank you. Appreciate we, it. Really do appreciate it. And uh, you just hopped off stage, the main stage. Yeah, just coming fresh off of that. Uh, first, please tell the Corinth Telegraph audience who you are, the company you're with. Yeah. And, uh, and we'll move from there. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm the uh, founder and creator of AMTV Alternative Media Television. Uh, we have over 500,000 subscribers that tune in around the world. Uh, we've uh, achieved 100 million views, if you can believe that, online. Fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Really cool. They're pretty incredible to think about. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also a Bitcoin advocate. Okay. Okay, so I'm a founder of one of the largest uh, educational platforms on blockchain in the world mm -hmm. called Bitcoin Rich. I've got my $2 bills here. I see. I've uh, seen and a there's people with $2 over there. Talk, talk to me about what's happening with this $2 bill. Well, it's my business card, right? Because you're going to keep It's a real $2 bill. I went to the bank and mm -hmm. they kind of thought I was joking at first. And then they had to order stacks that of $2 amount. bills. Right. <laughs> and we wrapped it with our business card. And what it says on there is uh, fiat is worthless as a $2 bill. Mm. So I'm making a point with that, obviously, because you know they're kind of really not in circulation, right. backed by nothing, obviously, <laughs> printed at the Federal Reserve. And uh, example of this, I was at the casino. We talked about this yes. playing blackjack. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, do you guys accept Bitcoin? Can I bet with that? I said, no, we only accept real money. I said, but wait a minute. I gave you fiat for your token, chips. And then you're accepting that for me and allowing me to play this game. It's you're, kinda interesting. They're already involved in the token yeah. economy, but you don't accept Bitcoin. They don't accept Bitcoin. Okay. So it's kind of funny. I mean, you look at uh, this across industries, mm -hmm. but they'll say things like, oh, it's a scam. It doesn't make sense. Well, mm -hmm. no, actually it has, Bitcoin has a lot of integrity, right? Right. Limited supply. They can only mint so many coins into existence ever. It's based and built on math. Mm -hmm. It is a peer-to-peer -peer distributed network. Right. It also has a belief system, by mm -hmm. the way, where people believe in the actual technology. Right. It's uh, changing and the world. that's its value. That's its value. Right. It's a store of value. We say, what's, what's the value? Mm -hmm. What's the value of gold? Well, we believe it's rare. There's only a certain amount. I mean, the, the ocean still has a, a ton of it, right? But uh, we can only get to a certain amount without it over exceed, exceeding a certain cost, right? And, and I control uh, it with my private keys. Right? Nobody can access it but me. Not even a government. If you really think about it, what are they going to do? Yeah. I mean, they could throw people in jail. They could put a gun into their head. Mm -hmm. That's possible. Right. But right. as long as you but they don't can't give, take it, they can't take it physically. Right. Right. Which with a bank account, they can't. They, they can go gold. right into your account. They can take and go. They, they confiscated take and gold it. Absolutely. So they've done this in the past. Yes, so Americans forget this. Mm -hmm. So they they have. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of comparisons in gold and digital gold. Right. Our Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Everything down to the physical mining and the digital mining, to the prospectors, mm -hmm. the early adopters. Right. Sure. To uh, a lot of failed economies built off the 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 thought that the digital goal or the gold would actually create an entire economy. But we've seen small towns fail when people didn't come up, when they didn't prosper in that sure. mining situation. Right. Yes. Yeah. So looking at the ICOs who have failed, that didn't didn't live up to what they were supposed to deliver. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm completely with you. Yeah. And, and the technology and empowers people. That's it's a people powered movement. I right. mean, the, the, the grassroots of this, which we were a part of, is it's a libertarian type concept. Mm -hmm. Right. Let the free markets act. Do Let you, projects fail. Do you think that Bitcoin in everyday functionality will actually work decentralized? I'm talking property management. It's so true mm -hmm. it, every day. Do you think it's really? Absolutely. Make? I think it's going to change the entire world. Okay. Uh, most middlemen, a lot of jobs will be lost, mm. which is a reason you need to understand the technology. I think this is the misconception of a, a lot of people is they just don't understand what it is. So if we have a lot of jobs on the tail end, where do you see the spike then? Where should folks, if, what sectors are going to lose? Every sector, worldwide, real mm. estate to finance to banking to it, absolutely everything. So uh, we've sounded the alarm. Mm -hmm. How do we prepare? Learn about it. Okay. Yeah, educate yourself, whether it's at Bitcoin Rich or any other platform out there for What's that matter. What's your education platform? Where can they go to get educated more? Uh, you can simply go to BitcoinRich.com. That's our main website. And we've got hours and hours of exclusive content, guest interviews. I break down the technology, how to secure it, how to store it. Uh, it's basically A to Z, everything you need to know about blockchain tech. Even if you don't want to invest in the technology, right. that's fine. A lot of people don't learn about it. It's going to change your life, right. change your business. In fact, if you're smart, 
You'll start learning now. Maybe you'll start a business as a result. A lot of my okay. students have done that, actually. Oh, okay. In fact, okay. uh, one of my students started a business where they can securitize your Bitcoin, where you don't have to sell it, and then they'll lend against it. Now, that's an interesting concept. What company is that? Let's talk about that for salt. a second. Okay. Oh, we know salt. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know salt and came out of that. That's a very innovative right. concept that didn't exist before. Uh -huh. And uh, think about it, I mean, that's what they do with a traditional home mortgage today. Right. You buy the house, they hold the asset, mm -hmm. securitize that asset and lend against it. Right. Now you can do it with your cryptocurrency. Isn't it amazing? And you don't have to sell it. We're st we still have a barrier, to we still have a lot of barriers to entry. What's the biggest barrier to entry that you think folks can engage in over the next 12 months to overcome? Whether it's investing in a type of company, in a sector, Mm -hmm. whether it is developing your own technology or a cog, what do you think that that It, it goes back, excellent question, it, right back to the educational side of things. Mm -hmm. You need to learn about it. But however, things are complex right now, right? right? It's not easy enough for my grandmother to use. Absolutely. She doesn't know what to do. Right. Okay, my father-in-law is really interested in buying Bitcoin. He wants to own, he believes in it. He's an old cowboy, right? right? right. Okay, right. so he's like, you know, Christopher, there's something here. <laughs> I think this is like the internet. It is the future. He's right, right. right. but he says, you know what? I'm going to wait till I can buy an ETF okay. or an index fund. So that's when we start to see things really mainline is when we finally get the regulation uh, that, you know, I'm kind of, I don't really like edu uh, reg regulation, yeah. but it's a good thing. It's, 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 we need this to happen. It's not so that really a curse word. It's no. really not a curse word. <laughs> it, sounds, it feels like it sometimes. It does, it but, does but it's yeah. not. So but I completely understand and I, and I agree with you, the barrier to entry is getting mom and, and, and grandpa and grandpa, grandma and grandpa to just say, I can buy, I just bought some Bitcoin today. Mm -hmm. Baby, guess what, I just bought some Bitcoin. Yeah. When that happens. And people say we're not using it. Oh, you don't use it for transaction. Over 50% of the revenue that we derive from my own company, my, my several companies that I own, comes from cryptocurrency. Isn't really? that amazing? But okay. people say you don't even use it. Well, we do. We're using it, people all around the world are using it. It's simple. We tried to do a wire transfer to bank the other day. It took mm -hmm. like three days. They billed us $14 on each end, and I called the bank, I said, Where, where's the wire transfer? It hasn't arrived yet. They said they didn't know. Uh, they didn't know. I get confirmations when Ethereum is right, sent right. to my private key. Right. I get a confirmation when Bitcoin is sent to my private key. That is completely transparent. Right. Why do I even need a bank? Aha, the light bulb should go off. You don't, you're your own bank. This is what Bitcoin and blockchain is. And I also wanted to point out a lot of people, there's this misconception, they'll say things like, you know what, I, do, I, I don't really know about Bitcoin, but I think blockchain is the future. What? Bitcoin is the blockchain. Bitcoin well, is the blockchain. Well, you know what, I think people, it, it, there was a uh, disservice done with Bitcoin. The network and the actual, current, right, the crypto, the, the network in and of itself, that value of that network where you can trans never before, right? Never before, the, the value in that actually is the value of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. It's never been, the, people would say it is the, is the perception, the mainstream, the media perception. Really, look at the technology, validate that technology. Look at what that has done and what we need it to do. That's a pivotal point in tech that a lot of people don't pay attention to. Absolutely, so, yeah. we'll look at Google for example, people didn't understand what's an algorithm? Right. How's this gonna make money? Okay, I remember I actually sold the IPO. Most people didn't buy it. They said, I don't understand it. Right. It's an algorithm, it doesn't make sense. They sell advertising based on an algorithm, it's gonna target viewers. How does this work? Well, look at it today. They rake in billions and billions of dollars quarterly with utilizing technology. Absolutely. This is what Bitcoin and crypto is and the blockchain is. Give me your predictions, Chris predictions on the best altcoins for 2019. The best altcoins for 2019. Well, it, it depends. On, no one knows Can from the sampling. I don't know where price is going to go. No, I really don't care. I'm if more we focused. Did, this conversation would be on a yacht in the Mediterranean. Sure. You know, I actually think an exchange <laughs> where we're working with now. Uh, I beta tested a lot of its products. Trade IO. I think okay. this is a sleeper that could be worth multi-billions of dollars in the future. Talk to me. Take a look at it in exchange. Why I, does it fascinate you personally? I can customize the experience. Okay. Right? It has better technology. Mm. Okay, they're starting to introduce this and roll this out to the general public today. It's undervalued. A lot of people don't even know about it right. yet. You would if you were a student at my community. By the way, I think it's the future. Okay. I think a lot of these projects are. Yes, some will fail. Maybe a lot will fail. Maybe. All of them will fail. Hmm. That's a good thing. That is what innovation is. That will put, propel us towards the next level of innovation that we need for success. It's that simple. 100%. Okay, all right. Well, I thank you so much for the time, man. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate right. it.
Short, sweet. Awesome. <laughs>